Hi Sagittarius. Sage. Message for you for your next seven days. For your greatest and best outcome of whatever is going on. way more happy than before. Almost like you, you've opened some... <laughs> Sorry, Lily's going nuts. It's almost like you, you've opened some... <sighs> I'm getting the imagery of a battle tank. And you're finally allowing yourself to see more out of the shell that you've been under. Under, And what you're seeing is making you really happy. There is a transformation occurring in you that is very joyful and youthful, you know, fun energy. And the 11 in the Singer Transfiguration means that inside of you, Something has changed because of someone else. A unity of two. <laughs> Whoa. Someone apparently has recently come into your life that has made you really hyper. I think Lily has what they call the zoomies. Oh, friends. Yeah, that's what this feels like. You recently made a new friend. Which I wouldn't be surprised. I know a Sagittarius friend who has recently made a new friend. <laughs> so if this is anything similar to what she's going through or the general energy of the Sagittarius archetype the filter of light you know if the zodiac is stained glass windows the Sagittarius is the ninth different color you know or whatever yeah the ninth then you got Capricorn, Aquarius and Pisces 10, 11, 12. Yeah, I can count. <laughs> really, in, the, in its most basic way, you have recently transformed due to the encounter of someone youthful, vibrant, and joyful in your life, which has caused you to have a new sense and standard of friendship, which is an upliftment of yourself and how you were, and someone else and how they were, and together you're this other version that neither of you really are aware of. It's like you're going towards something. The transformation is happening. The friendships are there. And you're going towards something together. But the little one down there is pointing towards something. If you want to get literal, he's pointing at crystals and selenite which are minerals, which are the, some of the base life on earth. They, they are the earth, but the element of earth itself. So you've met a friendship that has helped you uplift yourself from a lack of self-worth version, which is what this gluminous doom card is. Self-worth issues and insecurities, toxic behavior, uh, addictions, like lying to the self, and just being overall not a good energy to be around. 
but that's been transformed because this is also an 11. The 5 and the 6 is an 11, and this is an 11. So the partnership you recently encountered with someone has transformed this lower vibration version of you to a more childlike, happy version of you who is more in a state of appreciation and gratitude and love, unity and companionship, <laughs> adventure and curiosity as Lily is displaying right now. Come on. No matter how hard you try, you're not going to reach that handle, so come here. Unless you do what the Sagittarius does. Which is invent something to change the way you reach for things so you can reach higher. You keep trying to make things better for yourself. And you've done it. And this person has inspired you to better yourself than what you thought you were doing already. very interesting. It's a, it's a really dualistically beneficial friendship. One that's helping both people involved get over self-worth issues and accept who they are becoming and who they are. And to move forward with innocence. Oh, cute. Cool. Oh, jeez. The himself card, which is a lot of power of self, knowing of self, and self worth, power, shamanistic power. It energizes all the cards around it in the book, and it makes them more of themselves, too. Which is, oddly enough, exactly what you've been doing. This card is about unconditional giving, receiving, and accepting, and loving. This is about timelines and things moving forward, and possibilities being created that weren't there before and to have faith in the flow of things. That you are where you're meant to be and you're going to be where you're supposed to be. Because it's already been... It's destiny, it's alchemy, it's life. You have your free will and your freedom, but the energy that's there for you is showing you that you're better now than you were yesterday. This interaction has made you better and more of yourself and knowing of yourself and knowing your capacity to love and care is being increased. And that who you were is going to have to be who you were in order for you to be who you're becoming, who you already are. So you have to let some part of you go, the part of you that if we connect these two cards directly together, the part of you that feels bad about yourself, the part of you that sabotages yourself and, you know, negatively talks about yourself or the things you do that are just unlike your best self. If you let those go and you move into the future, breath by breath, trusting that the less you do of this gives you more ingredients to make a better version of you based on joy, friendship, authenticity, love, best possible outcomes, unmakeable, like irrevocable alchemical change that teaches you lessons that are better than gold. And, and the, the cost of it is to give up feeling bad about yourself.
and you're seeing that this week, this week, the energy that you're surrounded by is really helping you to push past that which is within you that makes you anything less than the best friend. This card is about unconditional love, unconditional giving, unconditional receiving, acceptance and forgiveness and partnership and walking through hell together a thousand times just because you forgot your shoes. Like you're going to go back for them anyway with this person no matter what. And because of this deep connection you have with this person who makes you feel young at heart, where there's no, you know, thing, no lower vibration things. It's all higher frequency. Where you, where you see how life can be better. And you playfully move towards that better life. Because you know better. The bottom of the deck is the singer of intuition. You already know. You know you deserve a better life. You know you deserve to be the best version of yourself. And you know that if you're giving out this unconditional love energy, the universe is going to bring it right back at you. So don't be self-defeating and think that you're not worth loving. You really are. And mind body and spirit being aligned with an open heart connecting with the with all your other versions knowing that every version of you is still at its core this kind being it does something to the soul that allows movement forward into timelines that create better outcomes you're basically picking this week to go towards the most childlike, innocent version of your future based on being kind and loving to yourself because you see that your life can be full of more peace, joy, comfort, companionship, bliss even with a partnership like this. You could have like somebody who really laughs with you and, and all it's going to cost you is that part of you which you don't really like anyway and no you don't have to change yourself for somebody else but you have to give up the baggage that you you don't really want to be carrying with you anyway so who would you be without this aspect of yourself who would Sagittarius be without the part of themselves which is You know, just your shadow self, but at its at its most unhygienic and un self worth loving thing. Like the laziest version of if you take the seven deadly sins, you take sloth and gluttony and then mix it with pride that they're proud of being slothy and gluttonous. Like job of the hut getting the prize for being the best job of the hut. <laughs> That's what this card basically describes. Like you you're this person's in a really bad spot emotionally and everyone can see it. Except this person they refuse to admit. Like look at this person. This person. Oh jeez. Like, they really need a hug, you know? Their wings are still kind of glowing, so there's still light in them, there's still good in them. And they're sad about what's going on in their own life. And the universe is stepping in this week in a really cute way. And showing you that you can replace the time that you think badly about yourself with doing kind things for other people. Like 
go volunteer somewhere. What could you do with a friend that isn't going to get you in trouble? You know, go feed some ducks, go walk by the lake, go, go to a, a bookstore, go to the gym together, go do some yoga, go, go do something that isn't like anything you, you've done in, in a really beneficial way, not in a low vibratory way, but in a way that's not lacking in love. So the choice you make, no matter how you look at it, it is a completely loving choice to do with this person. Because it's for the betterment of both people involved. Which means the result that happens after Nellis, the alchemist energy, comes in and takes the ingredients of this week and makes the outcome isn't something that you go, ugh, I knew it. Instead, it's the best possible outcome. What is the best possible outcome for this? For this, these two people, the Sagittarius and this other person, persons, Mike the Myomancer, Devil in the Details, Contract Agreements, Old Age and Long Term Friendships and Auspicious New Beginnings down here in the deck. This is a lot of different things from legal matters to what's really in between the lines to someone who's been around for a really long time and knows how a lot of things work and they know that it's you know they know the universe when it just became the universe they've been around for that long like when the first contract was made they had to make go through this person first so yeah this results in the best possible outcome which is a Maiden card. I don't know if you can see this. The beginning of something amazing that changes everything. It just matters what ingredients you put into it. So the more every thought in your mind to yourself and to a friend other friend or a group of friends or just yourself with your inner dialogue has to be better than negativity because then you create ingredients that are you know instead of the fruit having pesticides it's actually sprayed with vitamins you turn the comp the composition you make it better than it was even if it's fantastic which is transfiguration it's like the best that it could ever be and it's fun and playful and joyful and it's friendship and you know childishness and happiness something that can go on for a long time like these two could be these two 40 years later or however long later The union of the two children, like inner children, creates a friendship that changes you from who you were to who you truly are by creating an unbreakable bond between two people that lasts the test of time and is an irrevocable, irreversible change of the best possible outcome. Because it's in the details, it's designed to be this way. Sagittarius. You know, if you come back a year from now to this reading, I wonder how much wisdom you will have gained by then. 
and how much more sense this reading will make to you. I'm looking at this from so many different points of view and so many perspectives and so many different translations and filters. And at the core of it, I'm very aware that I'm looking at the same thing. A ball of dough, like it's it's a ball of dough. It's gonna be, you know, the bread, it's gonna be the the best. I like I already know the ingredients and the and the thing because I can see it here clearly. But there is this ambiguous flux of energy that is too bright to make any sense of. But all I can feel from this, looking at this, knowing that there is this massive emanation of light as the first card out, due to the union of two different people who are seeming opposites, It's almost as if the people under the Sagittarian stained glass spectrum, the color that is the Sagittarius filter that is you, is not leveling up, not expanding, and not in that way. More like you're accepting how wise you already are and you're acting in accordance with it, which is sending a ripple through time so that your best possible self meets you where you are now. It's very interesting. And it's very Sagittarian thing to do. Like instead of shooting the arrow at the target, you're just, you've just bent time and space and you're at the target already. And you're past the target and you're remembering how the target was. <laughs> it's very, very, very magical. Hmm. I don't think there's anything else I should be asking about this. I think this is for you and really just for you. Whoever you are watching this, how many of you there are, there's something in your life in the next seven days which is really going to show you how much of a better person you are and you could be. And you choose that way. You choose the path of grace. Because you're comprehending that it's not about what you can see, it's about everything. The details of it all, the things you can't even comprehend because they haven't even happened yet. But they're going to. So if you know something like things are going to be better and better and better, why not make them even better now? So that when they get better later, they're even better. You know? If you know that snowball is going down the mountain, <laughs> start spraying the snow ahead of it with different colors and have it be this massive, you know, tie-dye snowball. <laughs> I don't know, that's what I would do. Make the best of it. Make it colorful and happy and fun and joyful. Don't bullshit yourself. If you know you're, you're being in a, a way that isn't true to you, why continue doing it? If your authentic self brings you so much joy, why be inauthentic? If something makes you feel less than you know worthy, why do it? When you have so many options to do something better for yourself and with yourself. Like my friend just said a few days ago, instead of sitting there and being sad, why don't you sit there and paint? Because later, after you're done painting, you're going to have something more than, you know, a box of tissues. So you're transforming. You're having fun. Tell your inner dialogue to go, you know, the kindly F itself because you're busy being awesome and loving everybody and loving yourself and making the best out of everything. 
and knowing that everybody is on their own path to the future. However, we're getting there, we're all getting there together. So instead of leading people, go with them. Because this card also asks for guidance. So you're not making decisions on your own. You shouldn't. It's not really beneficial right now. What's more beneficial is that you work with 33 is the Christ itself. So you work with the Christ itself. You work with the Christ, the divinity of everybody. You see the God in everyone and move forward knowing that everybody cares for your best outcome and their own and together you have a mutual best outcome. Unity. Because of this and this, unconditional love, unconditional giving, and unconditional receiving being transformed to its best version for everybody involved. Because the best possible outcome is now being made readily available. Yeah. So when this happens, just go with it. Whatever you want to do, if it's going to be negative, don't do it. Do the positive version of it and then step it up. Pretend the master maker is here and make it better than it was. I mean, really, the connection between you and this person or these group of people, it's... It's the kind of connection that, that lasts, like your great, 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 great grandchildren will know that you two were best friends. That's how intense this connection is. Fairies of the future, the Lao and transfiguration with the alchemist. And then the Myomancer, eons of time. All the details, all the contracts, all the soul contracts, all of the everything. Like, even if God had contracts, Mike would be involved in it. And then the friends and the immaturity and childishness and fun and humor. Those are what's changing you into the best version of you. And them. It's not the sadness and the bad stories. It's not the negativity and all of those different things that are so... Like if Aphrodite was talking about those things, she would probably wash herself off. And that's the kind of topics the gloom and the student brings. Like you, you just, you don't feel right talking about it this way or thinking about it. And you're just kind of like, oh. If you just replace that with something better, it's the best outcome, which is already happening. So catch yourself this week. Because you know at this moment when these things are happening, that's usually when the other sabotaging energy comes in, which is showing itself as this card. And this isn't about others, this is about you. So when you know that you're supposed to do something better than you could have to help more people in a benevolent way, don't get in your own way. Be aware that you have a tendency of sabotaging yourself due to feeling unworthy of a better life. And allow yourself to have the better life anyway. It's like rich people and poor people. Poor people can't really serve the, the greater collective as much or as well as rich people could. So if, you, if you're the kind of person that has very little money and you allow yourself to have billions, can you even imagine the greatness you could bring into the world? And can you see the great harm you're doing by denying yourself the ability to have everything in the best way? that will create legacies for you. Start really 
seeing yourself into the future, the best version of you, because the best version of what you can imagine right now isn't anywhere near what you're actually capable of in the best way possible. So allow your inner light to shine. In the beginning, I was talking about this tank, of, you know, opening up the windows so you can see. The worst is over. So many readings I've had that saying today. The worst is over. Now it's time for you to experience the best. Oh, Sagittarius. I know it's scary. I know it's scary to be this better version of yourself. I've been there too. I'm still going through it actually. So when I'm telling you, like, I get it, I really do. Not only do I sense it, but I've also experienced this in life and I'm currently experiencing another transition of it. So I know how it feels to, to think that you're not worthy of something, but you are. And even if you don't think you are, just let yourself have the best of what you could have right now. So that eventually you think you're worthy of something anyway. If you think that you're unworthy of, you know, 24 karat gold, then just buy yourself like 14 karat. And then 18 karat. And then, you know, work your way up, but start somewhere where even this negative self-talk version of you is like, oh, fine. And do it gracefully and empathically really bring empathy into your life again allow your if this is your emotional body allow your emotional body to clean itself off and, and i was gonna say be clear but i wanted to say cry so maybe you need a good cry which is absolutely okay by the way it's not a sign of weakness, it's a sign of strength, actually. There's a lot of research done on it. Anyway, you're going to be, you're already more than perfect. Because this card is out. And everything is going to work out for the best possible outcome, regardless of what you do. Because the universe has already determined that you and this person are in some way, whether you do it in this lifetime or in the next, you're completely creating the foundations for a long, long time to come. So like your two kids or your grandkids, like your kids and then their kids could be best friends and then their kids do something great for the world. And the only reason they did that great thing was because in this time and in this now, you and this person had the most fun. So you had a lot of great memories to share with these kids. And then your kids shared it with your grandkids and then your grandkids lived it out. So then your friendship echoes in the future. Do you see how massive this is for you? You can do this because the only thing being asked of you is your negative self-talk and your just your negativity the less you have the less you attract the less negativity you have the less negativity you attract and the more honest you are about yourself the more honest you you can be with other people remember the best of ingredients make the best of results so give the best of ingredients in your issues and in everything else you're doing. Okay. I love you. And, um, yeah, don't worry. There's unconditional love between you guys, you and this group of people, or you and these you know, less than five people. 
There's unconditional love between you guys. Your friendships, your bonds are... They're predestined. It's like the X-Men. There will always be the original X-Men. I know, Lily. Okay, I gotta go. I love you. Bye.